Hi, Cody Wade again with Weight Endurance here at session six, Sport Performance, and I'm going to be demonstrating core set number uh, six in our base builder strength program. As always, we've got three movements, anterior, oblique, and posterior that we're targeting. So today we're going to be doing a weighted sit-up, a Russian twist movement for the obliques, and um, stability ball reverse hyperextension uh, for our posterior chain. So you're going to need or want uh, a weight plate, um, typically works the best. I have a 25 pound one here for this example, and um, an ab mat if you have that available and want it for a uh, little extra low back support for the sit-ups. So we're going to do a sit-up. We're just gonna add a little bit of weight to it, just to get, we don't have to do as many repetitions that way if we have a little weight to it. Um, so you're gonna start kind of with, with the weight right in between uh, your knees here. Get my ab mat in position, and you're just going to lay back into a sit-up, fully extend that weight over your head. I like to tap the ground, and then you're going to pull through your anterior core to sit back up. And you get to kind of use the, the momentum of the weight a little bit as well um, to get you going. So as you kind of group it together, it's tap one, tap in the above your head, and tap, that's two, in between your legs. Three, four. So you're really getting a full extension by bringing that weight overhead, getting a real lengthening of your anterior core, and then bringing it up and um, shortening it as you come in for that crunch. These, you know, you can start with 10, 12, 15, and work your way up to 30 or more um, in a set of these, uh, following our plan. Oh, actually, for our obliques, we'll stay in the same position. We're going to do what's called a Russian twist. Typically, you'll use the same um, weight plate. You're going to kind of tip back. You don't necessarily need the ab mat here. You're going to tip back, bringing your heels up off the mat, and you're going to rotate, getting a little spinal twist, each side tapping. So each tap is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So you're getting some really good spinal rotation kind of slowing the weight down and then getting that momentum going again the other direction is where the, the strength piece really comes in <clears throat> using those oblique cores. It's a great dynamic movement um, that way. So weighted sit up, anterior Russian twist for the obliques and then we're going to go back to our stability ball for the um, reverse hyperextension. So I think it was in set three or four, course set three or four we did a normal back extension pivoting upwards, our torso upwards while our um, lower extremity stayed still. This time we're gonna reverse it. So we're gonna get <coughs> centered hips on the, on the ball here. And then you're going to roll forward. So now I've got weight in my hands much like a push up. And instead of pivoting up this way, I'm now going to bring my lower end up, okay? So I'm squeezing with my glutes and my low back. As I get into that hyperextended position, but it's a longer lever, so it's a little bit more challenging than um, the basic hyperextension. If you want a little bit more challenge, <clears throat> as you get stronger with these, you get up into this extended position, and then you can lower one leg down at a time and return to that extended position. So you're holding that extended position the whole time and just lowering each leg down individually. So that's a little bit more advanced as you gain some strength and stability in your posterior chain. So that's core set number six in the program. Definitely starting to get a little bit more challenging, a little stronger. Uh, good luck and have fun.